Parents, welcome to How to Teach Kids Equivalent Fractions. The teaching activities and templates used in this video are focused on teaching kids how to identify fractions that have the same value, known as equivalent fractions, and fractions that don't have the same value. At the completion of this video, it is the goal that kids will be able to match equivalent fractions as shown in this example. One-fourth equals two-eighths. Two-fourths equals four-eighths. One-third equals two-sixths. And two-thirds equals four-sixths. Before kids start the activities, do a quick review with them. Remind them that equivalent fractions are fractions that have the same value but look different because they have different numerators and different denominators. Remind them that the numerators are on the top and they show a part of the fraction and the denominators are on the bottom showing the whole of the fraction. One half equals two fourths equals four eighths. And then the visuals are below them and they are equivalent fractions. In the first part of this video, we will have kids work with fractions that have denominators of two, four, and eight representing halves, fourths, and eighths and be able to identify that one-fourth equal two-eighths and that two-fourths equal four-eighths. In the second part of this video, we will have kids work with fractions that have the denominators of three, six, and twelve representing thirds, sixths, and twelfths and be able to answer that one-third equals two-sixths and that two-thirds equals four-sixths. Part one. In our equivalency part, we can see that a whole can be represented by two halves, four one-fourths, or eight one-eighths. And the value for one half can be shown with one fourth plus one fourth or one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth. This is also a great resource to print for kids and have kids use it as a reference when completing the practice pages. The link for the free template is listed in the description section. Explain to kids that they are going to make equivalent fractions, all with the value of one half. If the circle has two parts, color one part blue. If the circle has four parts, they color two parts red. And if the circle has eight parts, they color four parts green. And this is a completed example. Have kids fill in the missing numbers to make equivalent fractions. Each missing number is a numerator, and it is in the second fraction of each problem. The first example is done for us. The two represents the two parts colored in red. The first problem was done for us, so we move across to the second problem. Remember, we are looking for the numerator it tells us how many parts are filled in. In this example, we see four green parts. So that is our number, four. In the next problem, we also see four parts filled in with green. So that numerator is also four. Moving down to the bottom, we have two blue parts filled in. The next one, four red parts filled in. And the next one, eight green parts filled in. 
Before we move to the next activity, we are going to use a pictorial of a pizza representing halves, fourths, and eighths. So kids gain a stronger understanding of what fractions represent. We are going to begin with halves from an empty pan to a whole pizza. An empty pizza pan, one half of a pizza, two halves of a pizza, equals one whole pizza. Now we are looking at fourths. An empty pizza pan, one fourth, Two fourth, also one half of a pizza. Three fourths of a pizza. Four fourths of a pizza equals one whole pizza. And now eighths. An empty pizza pan. One eighth of a pizza. Two eighths. Three eighths. Four eighths, also one half. Five eighths. Six eighths. Seven eighths. Eight eighths. Equals one whole pizza. One half of a pizza equals two fourths of a pizza equals four eighths of a pizza. And two halves equals four fourths equals eight eighths. They are all one whole. Now have kids cross out the fraction that is different. Have kids talk through each answer to show you their understanding. The first one is three fourths. The second one is four eighths, which also equals one half. And the third one is one half. The second and third one are both one half. They are equivalent fractions. And the first one is three fourths. The first one is three fourths, and it is different and should be crossed off. Now the second problem. Two fourths equal one half. Then we have one over one, meaning the whole circle is full. So that equals one whole. And then we have four over four. All four parts are full, so it equals one whole. The second and the third both equal one whole, so they are equivalent fractions, and the first one is one half and should be crossed off. Now let's look at the third problem. The first one equals six eighths, which equals three fourths. The second one is three fourths, and the last one is four eighths, that equals two fourths, that equals one half. The first and second fractions are equivalent. They both equal three fourths. And the last one is one half. It is different, so it needs to be crossed off. And now the last problem. The first fraction is one half. The second fraction is two fourths, that equals one half, and the third fraction is three fourths. The first two fractions are equivalent because they are each one half. The last fraction is three fourths and is different and should be crossed out. And this is a completed example. And now we are moving to part two to look at fractions with denominators of 3, 6, and 12. 
This chart shows the equivalency of one whole. One third plus one third plus one third equals one whole. One six plus 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 one six equals one whole. And twelve one twelfths equal one whole. And this chart shows that one third, two six, and four twelfths all equal one third and our equivalent fractions. Now have kids make equivalent fractions showing one third. Following the examples, for circles with three parts, they need to color one part orange. For circles with six parts, they need to color two parts yellow. And for circles with 12 parts, they need to color four parts pink. This is a completed example. Now have kids fill in the missing number for each numerator, the number of parts colored in. And this is a completed example. One third equals two six. Two six equals four twelfths. One third equals four twelfths. One whole equals three thirds, one whole equals six six, and one whole equals twelve twelfths. And now have kids look at the pizza pictures for thirds. Empty pan, one third, two thirds, three thirds, equals one whole. And now sixes. Empty pan. One six. Two six. Three six. Four six. Five six. Six six. Equals one whole and twelfths. One twelfth, two twelfths, three twelfths, four twelfths, five twelfths, six twelfths, seven twelfths, eight twelfths, nine twelfths, Ten twelfths, eleven twelfths, twelve twelfths equals one whole pizza. Now have kids cross out the fraction that is different. And this is a completed example. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and share with others. And as always, I will leave a link for all the teaching templates in the description section.